Okay, so we're back. As promised, here's the first sentence. The, the English sentence is, the teacher brings glue for the students. Disregard the red lines. I don't know how to get rid of them. So now that we have that, let's do another one. So the students brought cookies for the teacher. Let's do another one. A verb, a what, for a whom. The parents paid the bills for the children. Now, I didn't say the sentence had to make sense, right? All right, so let's think of another one. The homeowner buys flowers for his home. The gardener brings water for the trees. Um, the boys buy ice cream for their sister. Okay, so we have a few here. So now let's see how this works. Now that you have the English sentence, you ask yourself, what's the verb? You locate the verb. So in this sentence, the verb is brings. So you can highlight that or you can do whatever you want with it, but that's the verb. The verb is brings. For the second sentence, the verb is brought. For the third sentence, the verb is paid. So we'll highlight that. And then the next sentence, the homeowner buys flowers for his home. The verb is buys. The next sentence, the gardener brings water for the trees. The verb is brings. So we'll highlight that. And the next one, the boys buy ice cream for their sister. The verb is buys. Buy, I'm sorry. All right, so we've located our verb. Now that we have our verb, we ask ourselves, what? For sentence number one, what? Glue. For whom? Or for what? If you picked students, yes, that is correct. So now we have what for whom. So what is the direct object? For whom is the indirect object? So we have that now. And then the next one is, the students brought cookies for the teacher. We know what our verb is, brought. What? Cookies. For whom? The teacher. So let's go to the next one. The parents paid the bills for the children. What? The bills or bills. For whom? The children. Oops. And then that's it. Let's go to the next one. The homeowner buys flowers for his home. What?
flowers. For whom or for what? His home. And then we have the gardener brings water for the trees. So the question to ask here is what for whom? So we have what and the answer is water for whom the answer is the trees. So next one is the boys buy ice cream for their sister. What? Ice cream. For whom? Their sister. So now we've got those. So if we go back up, what is the direct object for whom is the indirect object and then we go to the next one what is the direct object for whom is the indirect object And the next one, what is the direct object for whom is the indirect object? What is the direct object for whom is the indirect object? And again, what is the direct object for whom is the indirect object? So now that we have that, now you know what your direct and indirect objects are for each sentence. So I'm going to erase this because that looks a little too messy. Okay, so for this sentence again, what glue direct object for whom or for what students? So that would be the indirect object. All right, so now that we have that, then try to have next to you the indirect and direct object pronouns that will be replacing glue, students, cookie, the teacher, the bills, the children, and so on and so forth. Okay, so I wrote it out here. So if you can see right about there, Indirect object pronouns for yo is me. Direct object pronouns, me. So I'll give you about three seconds for you to make, write them down or pause this video and make your own list. Okay. So based on this list if we go back and let's translate these sentences So we have then the teacher. So let's translate it. Let's use a different color so we can, we'll do red. Okay, la 
maestra. So that's your subject. And then you need to bring your verb down. But before you do, you have to ask yourself, is this verb conjugated or not? It is. And because it is, we're going to leave a big space here for our indirect and direct object pronouns. So then we have the verb. So let's go back. So in, Spanish, in English, as you can see, the direct object comes first in the sentence and the indirect object comes second in the sentence. In Spanish, we swap. So the first thing is going to be the indirect object and then the direct object. So what is the correct indirect object for students? So if you go back to your list. you should be able to say ellos. So the indirect object pronoun is less. So let's go put it in here. Less, and that's it. So we leave a space. And then what is the direct object, what is the correct direct object pronoun to replace glue? And in Spanish, glue is el pegamento. So the direct object pronouns are those, and the subject pronouns are that. So el pegamento is this one right here, el. So the direct object pronoun is going to be lo. So then we put lo. I think I left too much space. La maestra les lo trae. We're not quite done because in Spanish we don't like these double L's right here. So highlight it yellow. So what we do is anytime you have double L's like that, the indirect object becomes se. Lo try and that's it so let's do the next one so let's rewrite our sentence the students brought cookies for the teacher first thing we got to do is write our subject and we'll do that in red again so it's different los estudiantes and then, so we rewrote our subject, and then we ask ourselves, is our verb conjugated? It is. So we're going to leave space right there. And the verb is traer in its infinitive form. And that's it. So now... We need to take our, again you do, in English the direct object pronoun comes first and the indirect object pronoun comes second. But in Spanish we swap them so we put our indirect object first and then our direct object. So what is the correct indirect object pronoun to replace teacher? So we're going to assume it's a female teacher. So we're going to do le. And then what is the correct direct object pronoun to replace cookies? And those are feminine plural. So it's going to be las. Los estudiantes le las trajeron. Now remember, we don't like those double L's, so we're going to rewrite this. Los estudiantes se las trajeron. You see that? So se replaces le, 
and here set replaces less only anytime there's double else so let's do another one so we write our subject first los padres that's our subject then we look at our verb paid and ask ourselves is it conjugated or not this one is conjugated so we have to leave a nice big space and then we write our verb pagaron and that's it so now remember that in english you the direct object comes from first and the indirect object comes second but in spanish the indirect object comes first and the direct object comes second so what is the correct indirect object pronoun to replace the children if you go back to your list it's going to be ellos les then you ask yourself what is the direct the correct direct object pronoun to replace the bills and those are masculine so we, and it's plural so we do los and again we have double l's so we have to rewrite it los padres se los pagaron and that would be the correct way to do it so let's do another one all right so the homeowner buys flowers for his home what flower which is the direct object for what his home which is the indirect object so we rewrite our subject los dueños and there's no end with the tilde and i would take too much time to find it los dueños del hogar that's homeowner los dueños del hogar then we that's our subject then we need to write our verb but before we do we have to ask ourselves is the verb conjugated the verb is conjugated so we leave space and then we write the verb compran so let's go back and again in english the direct object comes first the indirect object comes second but in spanish the indirect object comes first and the direct object comes second so what is the correct indirect object pronoun to replace home it's le el hogar and what is the correct direct object to replace flowers i put flower but it's flowers so it's plural feminine so it's las and we have those double l's again so let's replace them let's rewrite it los dueños del hogar se las compran because we don't like those double l's all right let's do another one let me get rid of that one real quick so it's not in our way all right the gardener brings water for the trees what water that's our direct object for whom the trees that is our indirect object so let's rewrite the sentence and let's start with our subject el jardinero that's our subject and then we ask ourselves is our verb conjugated or not our verb is conjugated so we leave space and then we write our verb now that we have that let's plug in our objects okay so again in english the direct object comes first and the indirect object comes second but in spanish the indirect object comes first and the direct object comes second so what is the correct indirect object pronoun for the trees it's going to be los if you go back to your list you should have your list next to you 
So then, now that we have our indirect object pronoun, let's put our, what would be the direct object pronoun to replace water? It's going to be la. And again, we have double L, so that means we have to rewrite our sentence. El jardinero se la trae. And that's it. All right, let's do our next one. Okay, so this one is the boys. The boys buy ice cream for their sister. So let's rewrite it. Start with the subject. Los chicos or niños or muchachos, whatever you like. And then that's our subject, so let, now we have to put our verb down. But before we do, we ask ourselves, is the verb conjugated? The verb is conjugated, so we leave space and we write our verb, compran. So in English, the direct object prone, the direct object comes first in the sentence, the indirect object comes second in the sentence. In Spanish, the indirect object comes first, the direct object comes second. So, what is the correct indirect object pronoun to replace their sister? Le. Okay, what is the correct direct object pronoun to replace uh, ice cream? Lo. And again, we have double L's, so that's not going to work because we don't do double L's. And uh, let's see here. So let's rewrite it. Los chicos se lo compran and that's it i hope this video helped you understand direct and indirect object pronouns please feel free to message me or put any comments on the bottom of this video and i would be more than glad to update it or make it faster thank you very much have a great night